golly, we're getting to do wine tours for eight days. Gosh, I love RV life. I do too. Yeah, we do. We were walking down from the parking lot. This is Roaring River. And uh, what a pretty place on the outside. I can't wait to see what the inside looks like. Well, I guess we could end up calling this the uh, food and wine tour, couldn't we? So they've got a, uh, a little bistro here that you can come to. And I've got a chicken salad panini with some mac and cheese. And Joan, for the, what did you go for? Uh, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah, so Joan's got the fish and chips. Good little dish. Um, the food is absolutely delicious. It's simple. Um, but really, really cool. But um, I'm going to pan around here, and then once we finish this, we'll go over, sample the wines, and hopefully they'll let us uh, chat a little bit. We'll see. But um, let me just do a pan around here of the little um, bistro and and the wine tasting room. I think you'll find this a really pretty, pretty place. Uh, they've got just a little seating area right here by the fireplace. You can see that. I'll get a better shot of that here in just a few minutes, but you can see that. And then a few folks already settled up to the wine bar over there. And of course, Joan and I are indulging with good food. Joan chomping away. And then there's just a lot of other folks in here. It's a very simple day. It's kind of quiet. Again, this is off season, but um, pretty. Gosh, it's a pretty place. I can't wait to show you outside of uh, some of the things that are here. The beautiful river behind us and the vineyards are going to be a little dark. Um, Leaves hadn't popped out yet, still a little too cold. Still still going to be a great tour this week. Then as we leave that event space, I mean, look at this from the event space over there. You've got a outdoor fireplace. Isn't that nice? You've got this indoor or covered event area. Look at this. Uh, complete with a large stage. That's neat. And then the beautiful river down here. Look at that. It's a little calm back here and then we get to all the rocks and all. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the first day of March and it is just beautiful here. Let's walk down and uh, see some steps here. Let's uh, see if we can get a little closer to the water. Look at this, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Listen to that. Well, if you plan to come, again, this is the first week of March. And, uh, you know, things are going to be a tad barren. The leaves have all fallen. They've got about seven or eight acres of vines here throughout their vineyard. And you can see those going up into the hill. I bet that is pretty. And then right on the other side of the pond over there, is the camping area for the harvest host so if you like to do that type of thing these folks will accommodate you oh what a great stay so that was a great that was a great stop at roaring river wasn't it oh that was lovely it was i um, enjoyed the fireplace yeah you can joan, joan camped out at the I, I stood up at the bar and drank wine and i couldn't get joan away from the fireplace and of course your um, but he was very good to, um, to let to bring me my wine samplers. Yeah, she still got her wine samplers while she was eating her cherries and chocolate covered cheesecake. So Joan went the whole splurge right on this. Roaring Rivers was beautiful though. We, we really enjoyed that. We still have a little bit of time today. It's uh, Sunday and I think we're going to try to squeeze one more in. And uh, this is John Van Dre. We're probably about 15 minutes from there. So, um, oh, I have time for a nap. No nap. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the beautiful North Carolina hills. Uh, it's it's really hard for us to film in 
drive as we're going down the road. If we can get to a spot, I'll let Joan grab a camera. But these uh, rolling hills in this area are, wow, they're, they're something, aren't they? They are. They're and, beautiful. Uh, this is agricultural country, so you know you'll see vineyards. It reminds me kind of as a hilly Napa uh, on the east coast. Head northeast on Trap Hill Road toward Long Bottom Road. Sorry, Google had to talk to me, uh, but it reminds me a little bit of that, where you have a lot of agricultural space, then a vineyard, then agricultural space, then a vineyard. So you see a lot of that here, uh, but the vineyards are pretty. Um, again, we're here in March. So we're not going to see the greenery that we usually see, um, you know, summer, spring, early fall. Uh, but still, you can, I think you can still enjoy, you know, seeing everything out there. Okay, both hands on the wheel. And uh, we're going to John Van Dre Vineyard John and Winery. Van. Yeah, that's a cool name. John, John Van Dre. Here we go. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Make sure I wasn't in the way. Oh, you're not bothering me. Here, I'll put you in it. There we go. Yeah, it's got a lot of early fruit for yeah. oh, yeah. sure. And this was the Steel and Stone? No, no. you had the Petite Man sing. Uh, right That's here. what I just had. Okay. Yeah. I poured it for both of you. Oh, oh you poured it for both. Your tasting okay. always starts with that one. Right, I got extra you. Extra taste. Okay, okay. So, real dry uh, mic. Just gave me a little extra splash there. Yeah, that's right. Enjoy. That's what we like to do. These are good. Let you taste it. So I'm noting, noticing people in there eating a cheese tree or something. Uh, so you have a little food have, um, We can make you some baguette bread. We have it frozen oh, okay. and we can make you some of that. And we have some um, cheese and snacks over there as well. That's nice. So, yeah. If you want a bread, I'll be happy to put one no, in for you. Good. This is good. We just left um, Roaring River. Yeah. Over and went, that one. Yeah, yeah. And, and Where they had, had the kitchen. And, yeah. 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 And good. enjoyed the... Enjoyed the water over the there. The water, yeah, yeah. pretty old water. Aged about 30, 32 months. What do you think? A little dry. Too dry for you? I could get used to it. I could get used to it, but the first taste was real dry. Usually the second's better. <laughs> How's the second? <laughs> are you a sweet puppy? Say, are you a sweet puppy? I bet you are. Joan thinks you're a sweet puppy. I bet you are. Can I pet you? Are you afraid of the camera? Are you the Jones of Andre? <laughs> Dog. <laughs> well there's Joan she's enjoying just a little chill time I'm going to finish up some filming around here if you look toward the back um, the lights are off I can't go into the back right now uh, you can actually see the aged barrels back there between this I don't know it's just kind of like a little chill out room they do special events in there um, it's kind of really neat I'll kind of do a slow slow pan here and you can actually see the tasting room and uh, boy, did we enjoy coming here. The wines are magnificent. Magnificent. I love this. And come to find out the Joneses of John Vandrell. Uh, we know people together. They're from uh, the Roswell, Georgia area. We spent some time up in Marietta and um, worked with the same folks that we both knew. What a small world. Who would have thought? So fortunate huh? to be able to go into the Jones Vandrell. Uh, I guess this is the fermenting room where all the fermenting is done. And you see all the stainless steel tanks, and then there's oak barrels here, here as well. I, this is what really trips my trigger, to be truthful with you, to be able to see an operation as massive as this. You just ought to see this. This is something else. What a treat. And, of course, this is March, and uh, the growing season and all is over. For that period of time but it's just tank after tank after tank look at this this is going to be a lot of wine so after it ages you can see the laboratories over there this is a big deal how cool is this amazing thanks for letting me come back in the back june um, you're, you're reading this wine magazine there's the famous puppy that we saw a minute ago. What are you reading? I'm reading. Craveable. Look at there. The puppy made it. 
too craveable. How cool is that? <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Uh, I forget how many acres of vineyards they said they actually have here. If you can see it off in the distance. Uh, I'll show you these as we drive out. It's just absolutely something. Aside from, there's still some construction going on here. This is the tasting room and again where you can see back in the back where a lot of the wines are aging back there. You can see tons of barrels back there. But above and beyond that, if you look at that new construction over there, that is a new event space that they'll be opening up. And then I also found out, if you're not into the camping thing, then across the way over here, there's some cabins being built by a third party, and you can do that too. That's gorgeous. Well, you can see the vineyards in the background. Jones Vendrell, wow, what a beautiful place. This um, is one of the newer vineyards around here, but look, don't let new throw you off. The wines were amazing, and we are taking uh, uh, one of the estate wines home, and we're going to share it with the family. Uh, well, I think we'll do that at every place that we go to, just so that we can bring some of the experience back home. Just absolutely fabulous place. Uh, one of the things that I'm finding out here about uh, North Carolina and the wine country, it's just like coming and visiting friends. Everybody's super friendly. Everybody's standing around the wine bars and sampling, want to know about your story and you about them and uh, finding just some amazing folks here. Um, people that I've known from our corporate world. What a blast. Well, here's the vineyard. I would love to see this in the spring or the summer when you know everything is in full bloom. I bet it's just absolutely amazing. I think they said it was 36, 30 acres of, uh, of grapes. And uh, this is massive. What a... What a huge place, and I gotta tell you, they do a great job. Great job with the wines here. Well, Joan, that has been fun today. This is our first day of wine tours in the foothills of North Carolina. We started off with brunch at the Roaring River. Yes, fish and chips. Fish and chips for Joan. I had um, uh, chicken salad paninis. It was absolutely wonderful, and the wines were good too, weren't they? wines were all good. They were really good. We had no bad wines today. We had great wines and we had good wines, but nothing bad, nothing that you would drink and just, you know, do one of those things. It was just really, really good. A lot of fun. Um, friendly people. Oh, very sweet people. Very sweet. And, you know, it was almost like, uh, you know, you're just hanging out with some of your friends that you've Absolutely. known for years. And then amazingly, uh, when we left Roaring Rivers and, you know, toured all the, you know, saw the pretty river down there and all the neat event space. Uh, then we went over to Jones Vandrell and two families there, the Jones family and the Vandrell family owned that vineyard. And what was really amazing was I talked to the Joneses and uh, we knew the same people from when we lived up in Atlanta. Yeah. And uh, it was just became a small world. We were just sitting there going, uh, you know, one person after another of, of who we knew. Um, and it was just, just kind of amazing. Uh, but great wines. Uh, again, we're here. The, the today's March one, and uh, you know things haven't blossomed yet. But you can still get a sense when we show you the pictures of these big, beautiful vineyards. So if you come here in the spring or you know summer, early fall, I bet they're stunning. Uh, I just know they are. We've been to other vineyards and they are. But so much fun, friendly place. Day one, and um, great wines. We won't do any wine tours uh, Monday and Tuesday because everybody's closed on Monday and Tuesdays. So right. we'll pick this back up again on Wednesday. And uh, we're going to try to squeeze win uh, three in on Wednesday, I think. Okay. And uh, 30 of them, we're not going to get them all, but we're going to kind of cherry pick and see what we can find. So much fun. Golly, we're getting to do wine tours for eight days. Gosh, I love RV life. I do too. Yeah, we do. Thank you.